When we come back from the prize, Sharon Wellingham to join us. Please make welcome a star from the Collingwood Football Club, Sherrod Wellingham, everybody. Sherrod, just quickly, uh, most of your list is actually in America at the moment, Arizona, uh, mm. holidaying. Mm. So we thought to make you feel more yeah. at home, we yeah. might just... Uh, we just got you a hat you could maybe wear, a couple of flags, uh, and I believe we've got some hot dogs there somewhere, and uh, maybe a cactus as well from Arizona. Yeah, there we go. Right Just to make you feel a bit more at home there. <laughs> you're, a bit of a style, you're a bit of a style guru. Uh, ever worn a hat that bad before in your life? Yeah, a couple of times. Maybe a couple of Mad Mondays. <laughs> the pink tutu is more your style, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely got a bit of coverage that one, didn't it? <laughs> now, speaking of your intrepid travelling teammates, they've actually returned from Arizona today and one of them, Nathan Brown, has come back uh, less fit than he departed what have yeah. you found out about the circumstances yeah, it's a bit, a bit there? unfortunate for Brownie. He's gone over there and uh, by all reports was doing really well and um, was coming along really well with his uh, operated knee and uh, he's gone on and uh, injured his healthy knee. Although it did enable him to uh, purchase this T-shirt on the way home from uh, Arizona. <laughs> going to Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a shocking blow, isn't it? I mean, the story, there was going to be one of the really good stories amongst many good stories of the Collingwood Footy Club this year, his ability to get back and make himself available for selection. Yeah, it's very disappointing. You know, uh, he showed in the finals last year what kind of player he is and how uh, he can cut down on the uh, key forward. And so, yeah, for him to go down is devastating for the team. We do you think, wish him all the best. Do you yep. think it'll change in any way? I mean, it was quite um, revolutionary what Collingwood was doing mid-season, sending players off. Will it? Will it? change their plans in any way, do you think? I don't think so. I think um, the proof will be in how the other guys come back and how they feel. You know, we've got yep. Joels who'll come back with, a, with an, and Swanee as well will come back with a big fitness base and hopefully make a big impact and show that it does work. Yep. You enjoying the buy? Yeah, definitely. What have you been up to? <laughs> Not a lot, really. I had a, went out to dinner last night and took it pretty easy. Right, eh? What about Pendlebury? What's he up to? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, where's this going? <laughs> well, what's his uh, dreadlocks up to? <laughs> not, not too sure. You mate. haven't seen them around lately, have you? I haven't seen them around. Uh, I'm glad they're gone, though. Oh, no, we've been following them around. Have a look at his, his dreadlock out in the town. Here it is, doing some shopping. <laughs> Uh, it's on Chapel Street, I think. Yeah. And uh, here, a bit of bowling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a bit of, uh, you know, rock, rock, rock and roll bowling. And I'm not sure if... Is, is, is that his girlfriend? I don't know if it is. Good to see him out and about, though, making the best better bowling than Hey, Sherrod, speaking of girlfriends, we read a column during the week that uh, she's given you a pep talk on the way and she said, there's no Thomas, there's no yes. Swan. It's time for you to step up. Uh, you got 37 disposals, a PB. How much did it apply on your girlfriend's uh, pep talk? Oh, she was pretty happy with herself after the game. But, yeah, uh, other than that, she just said he has a good opportunity, so she was right, and, uh, yeah, I was and happy to play him wrong. trying to get a, a roll on the Bucks next year, assistant coach? Yeah, well, Ed actually, Eddie messaged me after the game and said if she wants a uh, assistant and coaches roll us there waiting for us. <laughs> Speaking of, the, of, the, of coaching, it's an ongoing saga. We don't know what's going on next. Uh, Bucks has come out this week and said Mick can go wherever he wants. you got your choice of two coaches next year. I'm going to give you both options here. Let's take a look. Firstly, you've got Bucks at work. Look at him at training. Putting in. Bang! Hit the ball hard. Get up, son. <laughs> Dish it off. That's the Bucks we know and love. And here's a, a quick look at Mick. <laughs> and... Oopsie. <laughs> I don't know. I Wait, think, which uh, one are you leaning to, Shad? I think, I think Bucks will be looking to redraft himself. <laughs> 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 Young Footy uh, on Channel 10 following us uh, here tonight. St Kilda taking on Geelong at the MCG. It's going to be an absolute cracker. Can the Saints be the first side to knock the Cats over for 2011? We've assembled the best possible commentary team Channel 10 can assemble. That's why Lloyd is out. He's sitting with us here tonight. And we have brought in one of the big guns of football commentary. He's sitting alongside Robert Walls, Brian Strawn at the MCG. CG. Good evening to you, gentlemen. You just, you just need to get over and be professional. <laughs> so strong. <are> you? <laughs> sorry, sorry. There's, there's a bit of tension here at the commentary box. Wars is accusing Strawny of stealing the last few sausage rolls and meat pies. Well, it's just not on. You well, don't just walk in and take over. You've got no evidence. <laughs> He's got no evidence. I have got evidence. You haven't got evidence? I've got evidence. We've got a spy cam here for people just like you. I've what? got a spy cam and I'm going to show you the evidence. So that's... This is ridiculous. Well, oh. <laughs> Hutto and I deep in that's, conversation. Who's that in the background? That's Hutto. No, that's that's quarters. 
quarter stolen pies. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, yeah. Go back for another one. He's going back for another. You can't, at him. <laughs> can't help yourself. Well, <laughs> grow up, grow up. Well, I think we need to talk about the footy. Brian, I might um, put your expertise on football to great use. I want to know your so opinion on St Kilda. <laughs> Plenty of off-field distractions to talk about, but have they finally, finally started putting it behind them? Oh, well, let's hope so. I assume you're talking about all the business with uh, Nixon and, and the uh, St Kilda School. Yep. I think we're all we're over that, aren't we? Aren't we, Wolsey? Well, we are. Oh, the media circus about that. Seriously, they should be talking about Strawny. Nobody's gone with the story about Strawny hanging out with the, the Footscray School girl. Uh, <laughs> and I must say, she, she, she's, she's 43 years old. I've got to pay by the hour, but still a good story. <laughs> You've come totally unprepared. You don't even you don't even check the team list. You don't even know who's in or out. Kaczynski's in. You didn't know that. Who's Kaczynski? Well, I'm telling you, Andy, Kaczynski's in and Joe Blake's out. Well, that's a big. Uh, that is a big selection news there uh, for St Kilda. Rob, thanks for that. And Joe uh, Blakey Peterson. Strawny, any truth? <laughs> any truth to the rumour, Strawny, that you're a little upset that the Dalai Lama met with your former teammate Harry O'Brien instead of you? Well, he actually rang the Westpac Centre when Strawny wasn't there. And if the Dalai Lama rings the Westpac Centre and Strawny's not there to take the call, then did the call take place in the first place? So that's Strawny's <laughs> spiritual way of looking at it. But I, Harry O was the wrong person to, to, to meet the Dalai Lama. It should have been Fev, OK? <laughs> I'll tell you what, because Fev loves to bet. Strawny! <laughs> Ruffle, very good, Brian. Just on a serious note, Wolsey, can you believe there's only two years ago that these two sides played off in a fantastic grand final? Well, hang on. Yeah, it was I'll, a great game. I'll answer that question. Of course he can. It was only two years ago. Everybody remembers that. He was commentating. He's not that old. I mean, he's going to miss. You know, he's going a little bit senile, but you can remember that, can't you? Of course I can. It's only two years ago. That's right. You're an idiot, Andy Ma. Yeah. Don't question, Andy. <laughs> so right. this is, if, if that had been... You remember the, the grand final they played 100 years ago in space? That would be an interesting question. It was only two years ago out here. What an idiot. Put the glasses back on. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, uh, good luck tonight, Wolsey. I wish you all the very best, uh, you and Hutto and the team down there tonight. you got your hands full. Thanks for joining us, and thank you, Brian. Sorry. We're going to take a break. Good time to do it. Sharon Wellingham has been rolling his eyes wondering what the hell he's doing here. We're going to talk to him about some footy on the other side of the break and give away the tour of the week. Sharon Wellingham from the Pies, our special guest. Sharon, absolutely loving watching Collingham, my favourite team to watch in the competition. Do you think you're actually travelling better this year than you were last? Um, I'm not too sure, really. I think uh, later on in the year we really picked it up last year and kind of really hit our straps at the right time. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can do the same thing this year. to be a great result. Hey, Sharon, as a kid, you were a bit of a prodigy on the skateboard, yeah? I wouldn't say prodigy. Tr but... No, that's <laughs> what I'm hearing. I, it's, I'm surprised because I never saw you down the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got some footage of you going about your business. Have a look at this. Check this out. For, talk about property. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the last time you ever rode a skateboard. No, no, you were, seriousness, you were... You were yeah, you know, I, used to, I used to love my skateboarding, still do, and, uh, yeah, off-season I try and give it a go every so often. Cool. But you, you couldn't pursue that because of knee problems and then you came to footy. It struck me that, you know, given your rapid rise personally last year and the flag and everything, you might have been a prime candidate for all of that going to your head. Uh, Is that a fair comment? And if so, how have you kind of kept things in check or made sure that they are? Well, yeah, from, from where I came, you know, I came off the rookie list and I, th I lived with Maxi and he always instilled to me that, you know, no matter where you, where you are at the career, stage of your career, you're going to have to keep working hard and, you know, uh, one, one bad week's going to undo all the good work you've done. So it's kind of the attitude I take in each week. When you got down to the club, did you follow someone around? Did you kind of you hear of young players coming to footy clubs and latching onto a senior player to see how you're supposed to go about the business? Did you do that when you got to Collingwood? Um, yeah, I suppose Obes was a big influence at the start of my career. And then, um, obviously, like I said before, living with Maxi, that was awesome. You know, the mm. professionalism and the way he went about a footy from day one was awesome. To just see that every, every day was awesome. One of the favourite segments of the show every single week. It's the home hardware. <laughs> Done, Andy now, every player in the AFL knows that at recovery, they need to wade out into the freezing cold ocean up to their waist and hang around there to soothe their legs. Well, let's take a look at Jonathan Brown last week at recovery. All right, I am going to jog out up to my waist. And I'm just going to jog out, going to keep going until this water gets up to my waist. We will get any minute now. 
any minute now. We are just gonna. Jonathan Brown, you're at St Kilda Beach and the tide's out. You're gonna end up in New Zealand. <laughs> you're gonna keep going for not checking the tide and not realising it was St Kilda Beach. Jonathan Brown, you are our home hardware tool of the week. You win yourself the works 310 wide handy cuts all with the works. You've got the power. Yes. Well done to you, Brownie. Well done to you, Limo. Well done to you, Sam. Well done to you, Sharon. Well, Limo. Break more from the pie when we come back. We do indeed, Andy Marr. Josh Kennedy on the front there. West Coast Eagles having a great year with if that you, man. If you can call a game of footy, uh, NAB and 11-16 SEN are giving you the chance to do it. A game of football, you can call the last quarter of a yeah. game, you can win two tickets to the grand final. Go to that Facebook page right there, thanks to NAB and the good folks at 11-16 SEN, uh, Melbourne's home of footy. Yeah, Lordy. Hey, <laughs> Shane, how good are the pies? Like, even when the Dalai Lama comes to town, he starts hanging out with pies players. Here he is with Harry O'Brien there, having a... Having a bit of a go together. There he is. Watch yeah, out here. Oh, watch out, Darlight. That'll get you three weeks. <laughs> apparently, he also joined you down at recovery after the game. He was hanging around a lot, yeah? Yeah, I think get rid of him. A shot of that there. There's the <laughs> at recovery. I think he's doing a bit of a stock take there too. I guess. <laughs> he started just rubbing Harry. Is there a glow about him now? We ask all the Collingwood people this. Has he just become a bit more special than he was before? Yeah, you know, he's trying to impart some of the wisdom that the yeah. Dalai passed on to himself. Yeah. So, yeah, he's thinking he's all that. Matthew, I've got a request. We oh. saw in the opening segment sensational scenes of you lying down oh, no. on the ground. Oh, no. yeah. There's a stage here for you. Oh, It's marbles this program of ours. How do you do that to a legend of the game? I will never know. Hey, Sherrod, thanks for coming on, mate. Thanks, and all the, all the best for the rest of the season. Thanks As Lordy said, it's great watching you blokes play your footy and all the best for the rest of the year. <laughs> thanks very much, mate. Thanks for Sherrod Wellingham, our very special guest, everybody. <laughs> Lordy, I can't believe you did that. You're a superstar for the movie. Well done. <laughs> Matthew Lloyd joining us. Hughes, he'll be back next week. There's a huge game of footy on next. And Kilda taking on the Cats. Stick around for that.